In today's video, I'm going to show you the five best passing concepts in Madden every single year. And I'm going to show you how you can do all of these route combinations out of the formation that I think is going to be one of the meta offenses this year. And that is going to be the tight slots halfback week, which you can find in the Cincinnati offensive playbook. Now, if you want to get a sneak peek at kind of like what I'm thinking in terms of Madden 24 beta and what I'm thinking in terms of like Madden 24, potentially the best offense and best defense in Madden 24, Join the Patreon. I did about an hour in-depth breakdown on some of the concepts that I believe are going to carry over from Madden 23 into Madden 24. Kind of did it more of a seminar style, um, but uh, it was certainly a deep dive into the Cincinnati offensive playbook, which I think is going to be the best playbook next year. So um, if you want to get access to that, you'll also get access to my full Bengals ebook from Madden 23, as well as all of my other ebooks by being a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks. The link's going to be down in the description. If you want to go sign up, uh, just click the link down below. All right, so um, the beauty of tight slots halfback week and um, really any offense in Madden is they have to have five foundational passing concepts. These five concepts can be packaged, hot routed, um, aligned differently, but at the core, they are the same basic principles, okay? So the first one um, that I want to show you is the shallow cross uh, passing principle. And basically what this is going to do is we're going to utilize a play such as post will drag, for example. And literally all you have to do is put the running back on a streak and motion him out. And this is going to be a really, really good setup. If you take a look at this play, what you're going to see is we have a shallow cross concept between the tight end and the post route over the middle of the field. So if they, if the linebacker basically takes that post route and man coverage, you can always check down to your tight end. Another really cool feature with this is, let's say they are playing a little bit more man-to-man -man style of defense. This is probably the play, in my opinion, that gives you the best uh, chance to be able to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the way that you can create this with, I mean, literally just hot routes is – Let's say, for example, you have a, a, a slot apprentice. All you really need is a slot apprentice, and you can create every popular route combo in the game. But essentially what you're going to do is we are going to uh, essentially have two clear out routes, and then we're going to have a slot apprentice post route, and then you can have a tight, end, uh, a tight end on this. Or another thing you could do is you could do it like this, where you have a slant post, and the beauty of the slam post is it's a little bit better at breaking down defenses and obviously it gets you a little bit better bang for your buck in terms of play. So that's the first one. Um, the second uh, best concepts game is really good for zone. Um, it is the flood play. And it's literally um, in the air raid they call this the Y sail. But basically it's a streak corner flat of some type. And then on the back side of it, it could either be a drag and an in route. Or another cool setup is to would be to put the tight end on an out route to kind of clear out space in the middle of the field for these digs. And so the beauty of this is you're trying to attack the sideline on that left-hand uh, side of the field, okay? So that's another, uh, another really good setup. Uh, the third one that I want to talk about that I think is one of the better ones that a lot of people sleep on is the stick play. This is really good for um, really any kind of like – double Mabel because what they're going to have to do to stop the sale concept. Actually, I'll show you one other setup real quick before I show you that. So another setup that's really good um, is what's known as the Y cross setup. And basically what you want to do when you're running Y cross um, is you're going to, especially in tight slots, you're going to need a slot apprentice to run this as best as it can be ran. Um, or you could also run it like you, like you run it from mesh spot. But basically what you're going to do here would look something like this where you have the two flat routes and then you have a deep crosser and an underneath or shallow dig just like that um another example of it would look something like this right here which i'll show you uh whereas if i did something like this this is kind of the same basic variation of this and this is why like i said you can pretty much do everything if you have a slot apprentice. Now, even if you don't have a slot apprentice, you can still run a really cool Y cross concept, which I'll show you right now. Um, this is one of my favorite versions of it, but it's basically this. Um, so essentially, and we can even do it out of mesh spot, 
But basically the idea is instead of a deep crosser, now you have a quick slant that's going to get over the middle of the field quick, and then you still have that backside dig if that linebacker or user defender chooses to carry the slant across the formation. So what both of those uh, concepts cause is the defense has to kind of get into a coverage that basically looks something, um, you know, that basically is going to look something like this. So when they get into this double Mabel or double flat coverage, then we can run a concept known as what I call this uh, or the stick concept, which in a nutshell, this concept is really a hitch some type of flat route, which in this case, we've got a little swing route. Um, and then on the back side of it, you can really do whatever you want. I really like an out route. And then if you want to run it like this, the, you can have a clear out streak over here, or you can run it as kind of more of a quick game, which I'll come back to in just a second. But this right here, what this does is it really attacks the middle of the field and it gives you a really balanced way to attack the middle of the field. Now, if you wanted to do it a little bit more of a traditional stick concept, um, you would really probably want to do it more so like this, which the basic idea here is going to be that we're going to be utilizing a clear out streak, a table route, and a hitch. You could do this at a flood too. So you have a clear out streak, a hitch, and then you have this table route right here. And then on the back side, um, traditionally, what's going to what would probably work best? Normally, again, this guy would be a little bit more spaced out. So what I would recommend is just a five yard out and then a backside dig. Another thing you could do is a trail route and then maybe like a streak or a flat route would work really well as well. And what you'll see is this will just give you um, the trail route is really kind of your check down if you get a man call which is why I love it out of post wheel drag because out of post wheel drag, what you can do is you could do this and then you can even run it just like this. And it just gives you better man beating options if they are in man coverage. Now you're not running stick if you think they're in man coverage, but it can uh, beat man coverage like that. And then the last concept. So we've talked about shallow slant post, Flood, which is the sail concept. Stick, which is that triangular um, read concept. And then we're going to talk, and we've also talked about cross. So now we're going to talk about the seam concept. And this is just a four verticals approach where we're going to try to threaten the seams. So anything that threatens the seams really well. And what this is designed uh, to be able to attack is some type of underneath style, cover two style defense. They're, they're trying to get into to take away the underneath. And essentially you get a high low over the middle with your streak routes and then your Texas route or your little in route to your running back that will pull those yellow zones down. And then let's say for example, you're playing somebody and they set up a coverage and it looks something like this because um, they're trying to really take away everything you can do uh, from an underneath perspective. Then what you wanna do is you can either hit those streaks or you can hit these wheels depending on uh, which gets more open. So the five foundational passing concepts of Madden every single year, wide cross, wide sail, shallow cross, seams or uh, six or four verts, and then wide stick. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this offense, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my eBooks, everything you need to become a better Madden player. You can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below.